Some people call the AI and machine learning art an invasion to the traditional art world, and many cannot see the fine art value in AI art because the digital images are machine-made and mass-produced. It seems like we are revisiting the similar controversies that shocked and worried the art world when photography was first introduced in the 19th century. Or when Andy Warhol used silk screening technique to mass produce his art prints. With high-speed computers, AI art can produce facial images in a rapid and massive manner that none of the art medium existed before could ever achieve. This has certainly changed our understanding of the world, or even redefined the meaning of art. In our work, we want to explore the same angle and celebrate the automation and mass production in AI art. By showcasing our horse paintings in a grid format that echoes Muybridge's work in 1878 and Warhol's work in 1962. During the pandemic lockdown in Middle East, many operations were shut down. Nevertheless, we found a creative way to keep us running and keep us in motion. We created a series of horse paintings using AI technology. Horses are symbols of speed. Endurance and persistence in challenging terrain, and we think that the spirit of horses is what we should hold on to when the physical world is pretty much suspended due to COVID-19. We took photos of horses in motion and also in portrait at the horse stables, and then used these data to generate hundreds and thousands of horse paintings. Similar to Muybridge's work. Our AI-assisted artwork captured a series of aesthetic temporal moments of how a horse is generated with interesting motions. And in the other artwork, we used machine learning to study the portraits of horses up close and captured different expressions or even emotions on the horse faces. Our technical challenge here is to master a fine balance and create neither a bunch of realistic AI horse photos, which can be easily done by the existing technology, nor some distorted or fragmented horse images that can be hardly recognized, but a series of stylish and artistic AI-assisted horse paintings that even human eyes cannot tell that they were machine-made. Instead of showing one final painting as the product of our AI generation, we chose to display the process of AI art making when the horse was still in computer generation. With multiple AI paintings, we want to repeatedly run these images in the viewer's head to emphasize the behind the scene and display the craftsmanship, aesthetics, and uniqueness of each painting generation. Even they were all created by AI and machine. In a mass-produced way, the definition of art keeps changing and expanding to include many new aspects. And I only know that if we want to move forward, we must all keep running.